Hello fat stringers and low end lovers. Okay, so today we're doing Baby Got Back by Sir Mix A Lot, but we're not really here so much for that awesome bass line. We're here more about the technique that we're gonna to use to achieve said bass line. Okay, so today we're gonna to be using a muting technique with our right hand or your finger in hand or your left hand if you were the other way around, okay? Um, it's quite a, it's an interesting technique. It's, um, you can use it for not much, but I mean, it's good. You can, you can do like really kind of like understated bass lines. So if you want to be like building stuff up or um, using things for a crescendo, for example, and you don't want it to be like, ah, you need to be building up and you're playing in a live environment. So you're like, boom, 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 boom. You can use this technique right there. And then you build it. Ah! Okay, so you can use it in some places. Anyway, so how we're going to achieve this is you're going to use your, put your hand like a choppy hand, like a, a karate chop hand, and we're going to use this part right here. Come right to the back of your bass, okay, near the bridge, this metal part right here, and between the pickups and the bridge, you'll sh you shall have a gap. Okay, and in that gap, what you're going to do is you're going to put your choppy hand down, like vastly, okay? Then all you're going to do is you're just going to let it come down like that, okay? Just let it come down, and then you're going to access your strings via your thumb here, something that I wouldn't normally recommend to do, but in this instance, in this technique, it's a really, really viable option. Okay, or alternatively, you can use your finger there. It's still, you've still got access to your finger, but um, it feels it feels more comfortable with bass. Okay, so bam, just lightly lay it down there, and we have this. Okay, uh, baby got back itself it is quite a simple bass line. So you're going to come to the C, which is the third fret on the A string, which is this string right here with your index finger. Okay, we're going to hit it three times. One, two, three, with said technique right there. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the uh, sixth fret on the A strings uh, with your ring finger right there. So we have. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, yeah, you guessed it. You guys are getting really good at bass now. Uh, come back down to the fifth fret with the middle finger right there. So, bum, 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 bum. Hit it once. No, hit it twice. Okay, bum, 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 bum. Twice. Okay, good. Then you're going to come back to the sixth fret with your ring finger on the A string. Okay, and then you're going to come back down. You can hit that once. And you're going to come back down to the fifth fret on the A string. You're going to hit it once with your middle finger. So we have slowly. I hope you can hear it because I'm muting. It's um, bum, 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 hard to hear. And it's just at that speed there. Again, if we um, did it in front of the pickup. So it's gonna be back here, near the bridge. So you get that kind of like muting technique there. Um, yeah, so I hope it's useful for you in some way, shape or form. Um, play it along the match and play it along to the song um, if you do the song in a live environment. And I hope you enjoy it, my friends. I shall see you in the next video.